This is your Buck News. Hello and welcome to Buck News. I'm Shelby Hoovler. And I'm Morgan Peffer. If you're looking to get involved on campus, the Board of Student Organizations will hold an assembly on Wednesday, September 5th at 5 o'clock. For more information, you can email the Board of Student Organizations Secretary, Eltiana Mitchell, at the email listed below. The safety of our campus is very important and we all play a part in keeping it safe. Homeland Security is sharing valuable information on how you can be more aware of what to do when an active shooter is present. It's an alternate chapel credit and it will take place in the Light Sea Chapel Wednesday at 11. Come worship and listen to the Gospel at Elevate every Thursday at 8 p.m. in Light Sea Chapel. All students are welcome no matter what your denomination or your spiritual background. It's a great way to get connected with fellow Bucks. This week, head over to the Brewer Center for two fitness events on Thursday. The first will be a butt, legs, and thighs muscle conditioning class. This event is for females only and it will begin at 515. And if you like to dance and want to burn a few calories, join Casey Fabian for Zumba at 6. For more information, email the Rec Center. And here's Marissa Thomas with sports. Hi, I'm Marissa Thomas and this is your CSU Sports Update. The men and women cross country team both won their debut race at home in the first annual Buccaneer Open. All conference junior Jarek Wilson placed third overall in the 6K with a time of 21.03, and freshman Carolyn Inman placed second in the 4K with a time of 14.48. The next meet will be on September 15th at Winthrop University. Continuing with soccer, after the hard fought tie with Mercer on Sunday, the Bucks edged out Florida International with a 1 0 victory. Allie Crossland scored the only goal for the Bucks. In volleyball, the Bucks continue to win as they beat Savannah State on Tuesday with a 3-0 victory. Madison Moloch led the Bucks with 10 kills. On Thursday, they traveled to South Carolina State to claim a 3-1 victory. Macy Laporte led the team with 14 kills. CSU football was outpaced by the Gators on Saturday, 53-6. Despite the loss, the Bucks outrushed the Gators 223-203. The next game is against the Citadel. Coming up this week on Thursday, there will be a battle for Charleston as our Bucks will take on College of Charleston on their home field set to start at 7 p.m. If you can't make it on Thursday, there will be a home game at 1 p.m. against Jacksonville. Come support our ladies. Volleyball on Saturday will be a doubleheader as they take on Davidson at home at 2 p.m. and will travel downtown to take on College of Charleston for Charleston Supremacy at 7 p.m. Head downtown to cheer on the Bucks. That was your CSU Sports Update. I'm Marissa Thomas. Go Bucks! The Alumni Office will be hosting a tailgate party before the CSU Savannah State game on October 6th in Savannah. The tailgate will start at 4.30 and the Alumni Office will provide food, drinks, and two complimentary game tickets per alumnus. Tickets are limited, so make sure to RSVP by emailing Brittany Watkins at bwatkins at csuniv.edu or by calling the number on the screen. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, consider your search over. The Charleston Stage is putting on a performance of Mamma Mia! Saturday, September 8 at 7.30, located at the historic Dock Street Theater. Tickets for the show are available for purchase through the website listed below. And that's your Buck News for the week. To submit news, photos, or video, email bucknews at csuniv.edu. Visit our website or social media for the latest news. We'll leave you with Chapel guest speaker, CSU's new president, Dr. Don DeCostin. Have a great week and go Bucks! We want you to grow in your relationship with Jesus Christ so that you can have uh, the most uh, dynamic, uh, growing experience on this campus that you never even imagined possible. All because God brought you here. And perhaps now he has taken you from a state of abject sinfulness to one of absolute righteousness because he gave you the robe and you took it.